Officers are targeting a new kind of crime here. It's called sextortion. Compilation of the two words, sex and extortion. Sextortion is a serious crime. It occurs when someone threatens to distribute your private images if you don't provide them with money or sexual favors. And with an 89% increase in cases among teen boys, they're particularly vulnerable. But teens don't really want to talk about sex with their parents or teachers. We had to break down the communication barriers around an embarrassing topic by de-shaming the sexual nature of the problem. So, we turned to humor. In an effort to keep teens from sending inappropriate text messages. This is interesting here. They're advising teens in the country to send, hit it, this. Teenage boys are being encouraged to send pictures of a mole rat. The slogan for the campaign is don't get sextorted, <laughs> send a naked mole rat. This mole rat is uh, from Africa, it's a rodent. Our campaign gives teens, parents and educators an easy way in in a very tough conversation. I gotta tweet this out on my Twitter feed because it's hilarious. We kicked things off with a sextortion ed video featuring a cheery school teacher with a simple solution. Send naked mole rats instead of nudes. Long, veiny and fleshy, the naked mole rat, <laughs> you can call him Willy. We created downloadable memes, GIFs, stickers, a custom keyboard on the App Store, and streetwear, along with a downloadable lesson plan and a sex ed toolkit for teachers. We took the conversation right where teens live, in schools and on their cell phones, and the impact was immediate. From the New Yorker to the Times, Cosmopolitan to Mashable, police forces to news sources. Even child protection services from Australia and New Zealand got into the act with their own naked wombats and kiwis. The whole world was talking about the naked mole rat. Overall, we generated over 700 news stories in 78 countries. Online conversations about sextortion spiked 649%, leading to 1.8 billion impressions globally. But most of all, half of all secondary schools in Canada made the toolkit a part of their sex ed program, and the center saw a 28% increase in teen boys reaching out for help.